Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Living Large on Lifetime. It's been a while. I thought I would catch you guys up on a little bit of everything that's been going on around here for the past year or so that I've been absent. Um, so let's just dive right into the questions. First of all, thank you guys for everyone who responded with a question. It's really fun to check in and touch base with you guys and see what's happening and let you guys know what's happening with me. So thanks for checking in and asking questions. Um, so let's dive right in. The first question, someone very kindly remember that I went on a cruise last year with Todd. Actually, we went to Europe on a cruise. We went to Italy, Croatia, Greece. Um, I think that's it. Um, it was the best, most amazing thing I've ever done in my life. Um, someone asked if we have a YouTube of our cruise. We don't actually have any sort of YouTube video or anything, but we do have some amazing photos. So I will put in a few photos at the end for you guys to see a little bit about what our cruise was like. So thanks for remembering. Um, the next question is, am I still running? I took quite a bit of time off from running. I'm just, I have a sort of love-hate relationship with running. So it was time to take a break for a while. I have not done any races since the triathlon last September. Um, I did try to start get back into running recently, but unfortunately my knees are not having it. We live in an area which is very hilly. So pretty much anywhere you go, you're gonna be running uphill or downhill. And my knees just unfortunately right now are not really responding well to that. So I'm probably not going to be running for quite some time. Um, I'm gonna try to do the rower and some walking and just some general um, movement, but not necessarily hardcore running. So that's too bad. Am I still working for WW? I unfortunately am not still working for WW. I have to say that was one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life. I learned so much. I met so many amazing people and it was just really fun to be a part of everyone's weight loss journey and to just really be in it with them. Um, I actually quit because it got way too draining to work every single day of the week and go to school. So I have to say that I'm really glad I quit because now I have a weekend. I can actually enjoy my weekends. Um, so I really do miss being a WW coach, but I'm glad that I have weekends back. So <laughs> that's a catch 22. Am I still doing WW? Are you still on the purple plan? Are you still maintaining and has the program been easy or hard for you? I am what they call a statistic. <laughs> I am a statistic in two completely separate ways. Number one, I am that person who met someone and fell in love and gained weight. <laughs> I am definitely a statistic there. Number two, I'm a statistic because I went off the plan and I gained back all my weight, all of it. Um, so there you have it. I'm not really doing WW right now. I was very loosely doing it for the past, I don't know, year, nine months. Um, but it literally got to be so, I just am so tired of counting every single thing that goes in my mouth. Um, I'm really disappointed with where my weight is right now, but I'm trying to do, I'm still trying to lose weight. It's like my lifelong quest, unfortunately. Um, but I'm just not doing WW at the moment. I just literally cannot think about counting everything that goes in my mouth. So here's a confession. I hit a high yesterday, which was my high. Um, basically, I've gained back all the weight and then a pound or two. Um, and so I decided to try Nutrisystem. So yesterday I actually purchased um, Nutrisystem products and I'm just waiting for them to arrive. And my, my motivation behind that was that I want to be able to lose weight, but I don't want to have to think so hard about it. I don't want to have to live, eat, breathe weight loss. Um, I just want it to, I know we all just want it to just magically happen, but I literally just want to not think about it so much. Sometimes it just takes over my entire life and I just, I can't, I have too much other stuff going on right now. So I need it to be something easy, but effective. And I need it to be <laughs> right now. See, I am like the classic person that wants to lose weight. I want to lose it without any effort and I want it to happen right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm not doing WW. The last thing I was doing was the purple plan. And so I do really have, um, I feel like I make a lot of good choices. I don't, I don't eat a lot of junk food. We don't eat out that often. Um, so because I was last on the purple plan, I feel like I make really good choices as far as what to eat. Um, 
So yeah, the program has been challenging for me lately. Do I still track my food? I am so sorry if you guys can hear the gardeners. Um, I don't have any other time to do this video, so it has to happen now. And of course, the gardeners have to be here now as well. Anyway, um, do I still track my food? I, funny enough, even though I am not counting points and I'm not um, tracking any kind of carbs or calories, I have a habit of writing down every single thing that I eat. So I do still track my food in my planner. I write down everything that I eat um, for the week. On the weekends, I try to be a little more relaxed and so I don't necessarily write everything down, um, but I do still track everything that I eat. Um, what are my go-to foods right now? <laughs> All my favorites like sushi. I really, my favorite, Two favorite foods, hands down, are sushi and pizza. I really kind of stay away from pizza right now, but sushi we have about once or twice a week, and I love it. I just love it. I feel like it's a pretty healthy meal, and as long as you don't have too much, it's all fresh, wholesome ingredients. Um, so my go-to foods right now are definitely sushi. We also eat a lot of salad with fish, um, sometimes baked potato with that, and sometimes not. Um, the fish that I am obsessed with right now is the Mahi Mahi from Costco. Um, I don't know what brand it is right now, but it's coated with a garlic sea salt sauce, which is amazing. It's so good. It is two points on Weight Watchers, um, but it's for a huge serving. It's like five ounces of Mahi Mahi. Delicious. Um, if anybody is curious, I will get the name of that mahi mahi and let you know down below it is from costco um i also eat a lot of hard-boiled eggs my morning breakfast is either a hard-boiled egg or a premier protein or a muscle milk so those are those are my go-to's right now um nothing really <laughs> too exciting just the favorite old stand-ins am i still working at disney yes i am still working at disney my five years has passed in May, I believe. Yeah, so I literally just hit five years. Um, I still work in the same department. I support three, I support two attorneys right now, and um, we're actually working from home because of COVID-19. So still working for Disney and very happily so. Did I get to see my kids in Idaho before COVID-19? I did. We went for Christmas. Um, actually, we went just after Christmas and um, it was a great visit. It was a wonderful time. Everyone's doing great. The grandkids are beautiful, gorgeous, my little princesses and the prince. Everyone is wonderful. So thank you for asking about my family. Did I finish school? I have not finished school yet. I still have about a year left. I take two classes at a time and um, yeah, it's slow going, but it'll be worth it in the end. I have about another year. Um, and what am I hoping to achieve with my schooling? Am I staying with Disney or going in a different direction? My ultimate goal is to stay with Disney, but um, it depends on where they may be able to move me. It's, it's still so far away right now that there's nothing really, no concrete plans or anything right now. And it's actually not really even up to me, even once I get my certificate. Um, so my goal, yes, is to ultimately stay with Disney but that's out of my hands. If I cannot get a promotion or things don't work out where I can actually utilize my certificate, then I may look towards some law firms. Um, I don't know that I want to go that direction because working in a law firm and working for Disney are 100% different. The culture is absolutely different. So it would be quite an adjustment if I did go to work at a law firm, so... Um, that's my backup plan, I guess you could say. Um, but ultimately, I would like to stay with Disney. Am I gonna have time to do more videos? I would love to do more videos. I don't know about the time thing. Um, I'm still pretty busy with working at home, um, trying to help Gabe with his school, um, doing home stuff, school. I, I don't know, it just, I would like to, but then also I, I'm not really doing Weight Watchers right now. So I wonder if you guys would be interested in what I'm about to do, which is the Nutrisystem. Um, if you are, I may do some videos and show you guys what that's like, but we'll see. Let's get my guest star into the picture here. Let's 
get Todd for a couple questions. Okay, this is not the guest star I was talking about, but Stanley wanted to come and say hi too. Nobody's seen you for so long. Stanley, say hello. Stanley as well also. <laughs> Here we have everyone's favorite guest star. This is Todd. Todd. <clears throat> Hotty toddy. So I have a couple questions for you, Todd. Okay. Or actually, our audience has a couple Your questions for you. Your audience has a question for me? Yeah, we'll save the big one for last. How's your family? How's our family? Uh, family's good. Everyone's good. Surviving quarantine, hanging out together. This is week 10, I think. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate enough to be working from home. Our jobs are allowing that. Homeschooling's been tough with the, my son, the 12 year old, but uh, he's getting through it. And mom's doing all right. We check in on her a little bit. Of course, wearing our face masks and bring her some food yeah. and check in. And brother and sister and everyone's really good. Yeah. So what is your approach to food, Todd? Uh, <laughs> Let's uh, just jump right in. Sensible yet fun. <laughs> um, That's the truth. Trying to eat right as much uh, um, non-processed foods as possible. Fresh vegetables and fruits and things like that. I try to stay away from breads as much as possible, but you know, every so often you get a craving for something good or some junk food. You know, I allow myself to do that. Okay. Your weight is pretty steady though, right? Well, and also, you know, you start to feel the difference, especially as you get older, you put bad food in, you don't feel so great, you know? I get that craving for a burger that I have it. I go, why did I do it? Ah, <laughs> give me a salad and some fish. Speaking of older, Todd's birthday is on Friday, so oh, huh. everyone wish him happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You so... used to look forward to those. Now it's like, no, wait. <laughs> nah, it's I don't, I don't need it this year. I don't need a birthday. It's gonna be fun. What do you think about um, the fact that I no longer work for Weight Watchers? Uh, it's interesting because I know how much you actually enjoy working with Weight Watchers and meeting with people and counseling and you know, not only you counseling them, but you learn a lot I think from them. Personally, selfishly, I'm happy you don't because uh, basically you were working seven days a week and you had to wake up every Saturday and Sunday morning very, very early and leave and you wouldn't get home till like one, so it's really hard to make plans and do things on the weekends. Um, so I'm happy for that. I'm happy you have more time, but I know that you kind of miss counseling. But um, I, I like having more Julie time. More Julie time. So I have confessed to everyone that I've gained all my weight back and then some. Ooh. What are your thoughts on? Uh, <laughs> supporting me as I try to lose weight through whether it's through Nutrisystem or Weight Watchers or what happens if I just go completely off the rails yeah. and I decide not to watch my weight at all? Well to me you're beautiful and I love you so mm -hmm. um, I don't really see the weight but you know we look at old pictures when we first met and you can tell you put on some, some weight. For me I want you to be happy and comfortable so I support whatever method as long as it's safe and sane <laughs> to lose the weight. Um, being active and getting back to counting points and, and really just monitoring what we're, we're putting in our bodies. So I'm trying to go along with you on this and I will not, I will support you and eat what you're eating and uh, we'll do it together. Ready for the big question? <laughs> Those weren't big. Those were not oh, big were questions. Softballs. Big question and I'm wondering this too, are we getting married anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> You're wondering that too, huh? Not just the YouTube <laughs> yeah. people. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be an interesting year, so okay. I've got some plans, uh, you know. But there's an element of surprise. So <laughs> sorry, YouTube family. <laughs> We're going to wait a little while, but yeah, I've got some plans for this year. That's it. That's all the questions I have from you guys. That's Do you have it? anything else to add? Uh, I have a question for your audience. Okay. What is it about Julie that keeps you wanting to watch her videos and coming back? I know what I love. Is she's just entertaining and got kind of a great personality. But I wonder what all y'all. And is it beneficial to hear from her, her trials and tribulations through weight loss and eating and Weight Watchers and things like that? All right. All right. Thanks for letting me crash your party. You're welcome. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And, um... 
let me know if you want me to do more videos. I'm not really doing Weight Watchers right now, but um, I would really like to lose weight in the near future. So if you want to see how I'm going to make that happen, let me know down below if you still want to see more videos and we will catch you later. Bye. Bye.